So this is the conversation of anger and love together. Actually, it's the love for self and the love um, of wanting others to be happy you know, that actually holds the space for the anger to be there. And the anger isn't this compulsory thing that I'm reacting to in order for you to hurt as much as I do. The anger is telling me something important about me and about how I am out of balance. But beneath that, the love is helping me to move beneath the anger to sit with my basic woundedness, the basic heartbreak. And that's real complex. That's so nuanced. Yeah. But this is, this is one of the many things my teacher keeps t teaching me, even in his death, is that his shit is complex. <laughs> you know? So to lead with our hearts, you know, this is part of it. I begin to articulate where I hurt. You know, I began to, to practice a profound radical of awareness of all the places I run away from because people have told me that I don't deserve to go there. You know, that somehow, and this is actually quite very much the truth, that somehow my pain is a mirror for you and the acts of violence that you continually participate in. You know, this is why we're not taught as marginalized people to articulate that because it implicates those who are a part of the conditions and the causes that have created the suffering for us. So I say this not to blame anyone. I'm not passing the blame on. I'm telling you this is where I am. This is how I lead with my heart. I tell you that this is how my heart is right now. You know? And I want to give you permission for you to tell the story and the narrative of your heart and your brokenness.